Hey, this is Chris at Vinyl Bomb. I want to go over um, scaling photographs for large format or for doing barricades and billboards and eliminating some of the confusion that comes into play. Um, you know, when you think you have a high res photo, but once you blow it up 10, 12, 24, or 48 times, uh, you know, it's going to be 20 DPI. Um, and what to look for and how to find it in Illustrator, especially if it's an embedded image. Um, so we'll start off, if you, if you scan like an 8x10 document at 300 dpi or photo, whatever it might be, um, you go, okay, great, um, you know, I'm working at 136 scale, I have a photo in there, it's 300 dpi, when I blow this thing up, it's going to look great, we have a nice clean scan, um, that's not the case. Uh, so every time you double the size, you cut the resolution in half, there, there's rules to this. Um, so if you have a 300 dpi image, and you're at one tenth scale, so you're going to enlarge it ten times. You're going to end up with a, a 30 DPI image. Now, I mean that's obviously less than ideal. Typically, you want 80 DPI. You can resample to a degree. Uh, there's the viewing distance that you could take into consideration if you can get away with it or not. But uh, so this is basically you getting a file or even prepping a file and understanding the rules of uh, an Illustrator. And what we have here is this document set up at one tenth scale. So we'll be enlarging a thousand percent and right now we're at 9.42 inches high so the windows 94 and a quarter um, and we have we have our bleed on there in this case uh, we want one inch all the way around so we have 0.1 for the uh, the top the left the right and on the bottom I have an additional inch just for the name so when we tie all these graphics the installer can put everything back together appropriately uh, but what we're going to do is sometimes you, you get a photo or you get a PDF and the photo is embedded in there. Um, sure, you know, you can kind of zoom in there at about, uh, you know, a thousand percent. We're at 400 here and you'll get a rough idea of what it's going to look like. And it doesn't look super hot right here, but um, again, you have the viewable distance to take into consideration and how it's going to look at that scale. So, but... For arguments here, let's take a look at the resolution right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the photo, and a lot of people don't know um, about this. So it's an embedded photo. Uh, well, obviously it's up here, PPI. It says 779 uh, DPI in every version of Illustrator. It's changing. But when I first started, I would always go down to Document Info. You find this by going up to Window, Document Info. This pops up, and by default, it's on the document. It'll tell you the color mode and the size of your artboard. But if you click here and you go to Linked Images, uh, any linked images will show you the resolution of that graphic, and right now it's 778 DPI right here. So when we enlarge 10 times, we're going to end up with a 77 DPI graphic, um, which is which is acceptable. Anything to be, I always typically go around 80, 90 DPI, uh, up no more than like 150 DPI. It's unnecessary, uh, and it, it, the photograph, the, the resolution, or how the the photo is acquired or resampled, and you know it all depends. But right here, so we can see the resolution is 778 DPI, and when we blow this up 10 times, we are going to end up with a graphic that is 77.8 DPI, which is acceptable for, uh, for grand format output. The other thing you'd look at too, sometimes the, the photo is going to be embedded. It will not show up, obviously, as a linked image because it's an embedded image. You'd click on this, and it would go to embedded images. It would show you the resolution of each of the graphics as you select them. And uh, yeah, they said do the math and, and figure out what the final output resolution is. And um, yeah, I guess that's, that's about it. So yeah, if you have a 300 DPI image and it's at 148th scale, it's not going to look great uh, when you blow it up 4,800%. So there is math. There's a give and take for, for resolution and scaling. Uh, just something to keep in mind and something we typically have, have you know, some issues with. And you know, get, just getting the basic understanding of uh, these photographs for, for barricade and large format and, and window graphics and uh, working with clients to understand this. So uh, I hope this video brings uh, uh, joy to you like it is for me. And um, you know any, any tips or tricks or anything you guys want to know, please let me know and I'll, I'll be happy to make a video about it. All right, thank you and, uh, and have a good one.